the shred vault we were looking at electric eye audio is the thrasher pedal this pedal gives you two different uh thrash voicings the bay area which gives you kind of more tight scott ian kind of modern anthrax kind of thrash tone in the bay area that gives you that kind of more darker uh, more kind of uh, thrasher used to from I'm assuming it doesn't say but I'm guessing more like Slayer and, and other thrash bands that kind of play fast and you know a little more loose with their tone as opposed to tight and modern sounding um, this pedal has two game stage areas that they want you to focus on if you read the little leaflet which I didn't do when I uh, plugged this thing in um, it's got a thrash setting and then a shredder setting Okay, and then Passive Shredder setting is what they list as the Nope Zone, okay? In the Nope Zone, you'll get a lot of squealing because this pedal gives you a lot of gain for thrash metal. So, without further ado, let's go to the tones. <laughs> Yeah. 
right, there you have it. The Electric Eye Audio, the Thrasher. Um, just so you know, Electric Eye Audio, if you haven't paid attention, just released a pedal geared towards us more death metal fans called the Cannibal Unicorn. And now I gotta sit here and ponder, do I buy it? It's a tough call. Probably just all these companies just taking my money. <laughs> you know. But anyways, I love it. It's a lot of tone chasing, it's a lot of a lot of different sounds. And if you're more of a thrash metal fan, you definitely need this. Um and if you're more just like any kind of heavy metal, it's got a lot of gain. It really does. Um in the uh, the Bay Area function, you can increase the gain a bit more than the New York side of things. But, uh, yeah, once you start getting a little too far into the nope zone, it gets a little screechy. But other than that, it delivers great fashion metal tones, and uh, I look forward to seeing what else Electric Eye Audio comes up with in the future, for sure. And, of course, this guitar is loaded with a Mad Hatter solderless guitar system. If you haven't gotten one yet, or if you need to get some new pickups in your guitar, but you're not a soldering uh, wizard, then you need to get to Mad Hatter Guitar Projects and get yourself the solderless system for your guitar. They make them for all guitars. If there's something special you need, you just contact them, let them know. Like if you need a longer uh, cable to run to your input jack, you let them know what kind of guitar you're working with, and they will hook you up, okay? So don't forget that either, Mad Hatter Guitar Projects. Until then, you take care.